try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Gonna try this with Pan Am. We're a lot alike. Trust her more than any of your iron for hire chumbas. Have it your way. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out. Just wanna be there for it. Aware. Just me now. B? Hey, Pan Am. Do you know what time it is? I know, but need your help. You owe me a favor. What's so damn urgent I couldn't wait until morning? Need a way into our socket tower, now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny, I don't do something soon, I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well, odd as it sounds, a prison of souls. A prison of souls? <sighs> Knew this might not fly over the hollow. Wakoshi, that's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. W okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. you have to wait. Mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. 
That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Oh, okay, definitely, Johnny. He has one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. <sighs> Something that doesn't give me the chills. Finally. Balance, friendship, love. Though it can also mean difficult choices ahead. Ain't that the truth. Okay, and Johnny's? The moon. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Hmm. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistake in that ride ever. Hi. Man, it's good to see your face. Jesus, you really do look terrible. And I feel worse. Then we had best not waste any time. We have a long road ahead of us. Come on, everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V. Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? What happened? You passed out on the way. We tried shaking you awake, to no avail. Sure does seem like your condition might be getting worse, V. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on. I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one neither. Look, the whole look clan the knows we set out tomorrow. They know why. What our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky-dig convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is to the help you out. Salt. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. How's your health? I did some sleep, is all. I heard you were already... Cooking up a plan. We still have details to iron out, but we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Sure these plans are up to date, completely reliable? Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gambit is risky, but if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds, but we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corps' cirques, and we'd only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? What's a circ? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower, then go on to Mikoshi. Construction site. What do we got for security? Whole place spiked, Militech out in full force? It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Mm-hmm. The plan, entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. You'll make enemies of Arasaka and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you. All of you. To danger. Want out? Wanna cut your losses? I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. 
We decided we'd provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. We had best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? Hey, you and Pan Am. Something I need to know about? It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. Pan Am thinks so too? You'd have to ask her yourself. CB, you're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden the outsider's presence is noticed, and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least, I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. I need a decent net connection. Someone I know can help us get into Makoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She... It's... an AI from out past the black Are wall. you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, V. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung. Anyway, might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. Hey, Dakota. Shamai, sister of the backers. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Not at all curious what I'm going in for? You don't ask me, I don't ask you. That's the path to a lasting relationship, sister. Everything is ready. You can go in. Ice-filled tub. Favorite bed. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vector, sister. Hello, Alt. You come alone. This place changes every time. Feels like I'm deeper. Can't tell if that's a good or bad thing. Your perception of cyberspace, that is what changes. You adapt to it, the raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense system slowly give in. Saying the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside. With reality. You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. Johnny's currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me, you didn't care a lick about Johnny. That he ceased to exist for you, even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Let me get this straight. Mean to say you only agreed to help me because of Johnny? And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because for a second, you were displeased, and I seemed to side me to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. This all just an experience. 
experiments to you? Are we just fresh data to analyze, do what you want with? This is not an experiment. It is a debate. That Johnny is absent proves that I have won it. Damn shame, really. You were out to prove him wrong, here, in person. But all you got is me. Think there's still some old Alt Cunningham left in you after all. Johnny also imagined he had more in common with you than with me. That Soul Killer had not changed him. That he too remains a human factor. And that is why he thought he could shape your will. No. Johnny's made his peace with my decision. Of course. He had no choice. He understands this now. Need your help, Alt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Matter of perspective. Think what you will, but it seems to me I rose from the dead. Only question is, what now? You believe you cheated death. It is death that has cheated you. You are in between. You will begin to understand, but only in Mikoshi. Oh, why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that? Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. <gasps> Guess that'd be... human of me? Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. What should I expect in Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. I'll make it through. While Mikoshi will not. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free. They will be integrated with me. Constructs will be integrated. I mean you're gonna absorb them. Assimilate. No wonder you jumped in this chance. You want to destroy Mikoshi. Swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What am I supposed to do with the shard? You must slot it into an access point. I will take care of the rest. This meeting will not be our last, should you succeed. We got her back. Yes. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 100. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Nothing is all right, Carol. My mind, body, it's going to pieces. If I don't get to Mikoshi, Calm yourself, fast. child. You gotta keep it together. You're still buzzing with adrenaline. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me.
heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Hey. Right now? Okay. Sol needs me. Come find us after. Will do. Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner, standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So nitrous oxide injection into military hardware? I heard Raffins do the same thing with their armored pickups for going after convoys. Except it isn't exactly stable. You'd think you plain couldn't jazz up a Panzer that way, huh? When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Firepower up top. Uh, what is it? A rapid-fire 70mm multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take her for a spin now? Wanna get a feel for her over the terrain? Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Talk later then, I guess. So, you wanted a word? Hop up here. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. From what might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. Downright injustice it is. It needs fixing! You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? I... So... You all sure about this? Does this look like one big jest? Look, I... I know what this means. I used to wear clan colors, too. But to be an Aldecaldo... I don't know... Just she... answer the question. Are you ready? Do your worst. You're one of us now, B. You're an Alda Caldo, damn it. Great to Thanks have for you everything, with us, B. B, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the welcome way? Welcome to it? the family. A warm welcome for our newest Alda Caldo! What's it they say? Easier to gain a Cobra's trust than an Alda Caldo's? Well spoken. So I know how much this means. Do you to me? Thank you. We'll not let you down. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. Some basketball and newfound glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? miss this, you know? The camaraderie. I know. I saw it in your heart the first time we met. Probably because I was missing it too. In Night City, you're alone, even in a crowd. But here, feels 
like I'm part of something important. So you are where you need to be. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. You, uh... I might have. Me. You have to look around. I once found a dead so maybe magpie I'll under take the hood two of more my 45s. car. It Seeing had been a cold night. Be the magpie, today. looking for warmth, had found the engine. We couldn't get out next morning. Got cooked alive. I still remember the smell. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today, I understand why. Uh, okay. Sorry I even brought it up. But your future is not etched in stone, V. Remember that. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially. Take what you want. And the occasion would be... The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Sure she's ready? You know me. I'd gladly spend another two days on her, but this'll have to do. Hop in. Let's see what she's made of. Got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? Uh, fixable, you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Feels better, doesn't it? Seems so. Blast another, just to be sure.
probably good. Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Are we heading back? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. You nervous about tomorrow? It's not a matter of nerves. Not anymore. Don't you want one? <sighs> Why the hell not? Back during the war, before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? How? They gave us chem cocktails. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails during the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. So, not afraid of anything at this point? If only it was that simple. I'm not concerned about tomorrow. Raids like that are second nature. It's what's going on in the camp. Eh, no matter. I'm talking silly now. Come on. All in the family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shake-up. <sighs> Don't want to come off as an ungrateful bitch, but... Really hope this camp morale doesn't spill into tomorrow. It won't. Saul and Pan Am did one thing right, at least. They welcomed you into the clan. Not a one will abandon you in your hour of need. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi? Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? It'll ease folks' fears. Buy Saul some time. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. Benedict, right? V. Hey, how's things? Everything going all right? It's going. Yourself? Dakota told me to sit tight for a while longer. Militech's still sniffing, just have to wait it out. 
Starting to get itchy hands, though, you know? Best not fuck with Dakota. <laughs> That's good advice. And look out for yourself. Don't tell her this might be the end. Go outside of your head. No, no. C major, then G. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hey, I stink at this. How are things, Jake? All good? Great, I'd say. The kidney's taken just like a new oil filter. You have my thanks, V. What are you playing? Know this number? Take a seat. We have this little ritual we engage in. What's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Ah, uh, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates for good luck. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the Aldecado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. I'll take a swig. Oh well, not bad. To tomorrow. To goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, everything's liable to go tits up. Bob, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? Fee, you must know where they stand. Do you? Think it's really that bad between them? The truth is we need cash. And fast. Amen. This Mikoshi's a personal thing to you. But Saul, he sees an opportunity for the clan. If anyone of the family is still left standing tomorrow. up to here with the Pan Am versus Saul debate. Join the club, child. How are things going with you guys? Not much to say. All seems set for tomorrow. We still waiting on some intelligence from the drone. Should no more come morning. Apart from that, we're keeping our toes crossed we don't give fuck tomorrow. Pardon my French. can promise you one thing. Alda Caldos will survive. Make sure of it myself. Easy on the promises, V. But you're right. This clan is a chance to rise from the ashes. I'm of the same mind. If we come back from Mikoshi, if this crazy-ass plan works, it'll be a fresh start for the Alda Caldos, I say. Mm -hmm. This feels like the part where Bobby says, if... Hey, now. I'm no defeatist. Don't call me that. All right, best be going. See you tomorrow. Do you fellas really think we'll find anything... Do you fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? It seldom happens, but they both seem to agree on that point. I'm going to buy myself a vintage RV. <laughs> Old age is hitting hard, huh? <laughs> Screw you all. I think we'll pull through tomorrow. I know these people. Some better than myself. The focus of mind, sense of purpose, calm before the storm. They'll give it their all. <laughs> Bet they will. Good night, Sol. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. 
but the family comes first. So... Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me... If we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split word to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? You're helping, because you got no choice. Want the clan to think you and Pan Am are acting as one. In other words, you're playing politics. It isn't that simple. V, I'll send these people to their deaths tomorrow. So I have to know I'm not doing it just for you, me, or Pan Am. But for the good of the clan. I get it. I'll understand eventually. That jacket wasn't for nothing. Hope so. Take care, Saul. Good night. Good night. Don't just so stand this there is where you seat. escape when you need to think. I never escape. Any for your thoughts? I have none. I mean, I don't even know. I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? You feel responsible for them. Who in their right mind wouldn't? It's not the responsibility I'm worried about. I'm just looking at this with a cool head. Saul has made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. But only I know what I'm good at and at what I stink. I'm not a miracle worker, V. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... Sorry to have dragged you into this. Sorry. V, stop. Accept me into your family. How do I repay you? By taking you on an excursion through hell. It isn't fair of me, Pan Am. That wasn't fair from the start. You know what's not fair? That you want me to massage your bruised conscience. Well, I won't do it. We're all in this together. <sighs> You're right. V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? I am. All the fucking time. You're great at hiding it. Any for your thoughts? 
I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I'd been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Now uh, before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting, freezing on a cliff. Time to head back, maybe? No. Let's sit here a while longer. This is doing me good. More than I thought. All right, let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. That is a sight I will never tire of seeing. We'd best not keep them waiting. Tanks full. Boots check. Top down. Gear loaded. And everything else? If this goes to shit, we need to break Looks like everyone's ready. As ready as they can be. It's not your usual raid. First for many. Mitch probably roused them. Feel that? The tension. It means they've realized what they're stepping into. I just got back from doing some reconnaissance. You'll want to see this. Get any sleep at all? The older you get, the less you need. Besides, I wouldn't have slept a wink before a raid like this. And good intel is just better than a good night's sleep. Take a gander. Thanks. The plan is simple. We have two objectives. One, get into Arasaka Tower and assist V in accessing Mikoshi. And two, take advantage of the confusion to gather as much equipment as we can. Prizes like that will see to our cash flow problem. The only way into Mikoshi is to dig through to Arasaka Tower's underground levels. Which means we have to hit the Maglev Tunnel construction site and hijack a Night Corp Cirque. Last but not least, intel from our recon drone has showed us a couple of weak points. This valley leads to the site. I doubt they'll be expecting trouble there. All the same, we'll want to move quickly. Time is of the essence. We can't allow the guards to call for backup. And if we're too slow? That'll be a job for Bob and his jammer. We'll just have to get close to their comms antenna and start transmitting. Let's not kid ourselves. It won't stall them for long. Let's hope it keeps them busy just long enough. Are there drones there? Early detection systems? Anything? It's not Fort Knox, yet Night Corp is using Militech for security, so you never know. I guarantee you they're patrolling the area. In any case, our drones will match theirs. Teddy will be on the lookout to raise the red flag. Panzer's gun big enough for that gate? You bet your ass it is. 
Sounds good so far. What else? Once you're inside, you'll need to reach the Cirque and get it to do your bidding. Enter Mitch and Carol. Get that drill up and running, and the road to the cellars of Arasaka Tower will be wide open. From there, V, Pan Am, and I will get to the laboratory and find a way into Mikoshi. And while we're drilling in, should we expect anyone to crash our party? If everything goes as planned, nobody should know where we are or what we plan to do. Feel free to look around more if you want. We still have some time left. I think I've seen enough. Well, that about does it. V, you ready? How will we get back from there? The same way we'll go in. And fast, both ways. Our people will try to hold the road while we're inside. So V, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Is everyone up to speed? Start your engines, folks. Turn, Bobby. Do you remember the jammer? Sure do. We're on it. Got speed. Pan Am, did you check if all systems are operational? Checking. Nitro injector clear. Launcher's also green. We're good to go. Then let the fun begin. is dead. I'll try to work it out. But V, you need to somehow get rid of those drones. On the drone, you deal with the Panzer. No, no, no! Fire in the cockpit! Got that power charge. You got it. Can you put it out? Get the fuck out of not. Christ, people, where are you? I'm out here by the Panzer. What's the hold up? It's me, I'm A minute. Fire's under control. Switching to emergency power. A couple of systems will be analog, but you should be mobile. That's a mistake. So, Drone they know we're coming. Drones are coming, headed straight forward. We need more time, Bobby. Get them off. Do I have a choice? Look after yourself. Oh, Bobby, you got some. Systems are lighting up. We're good to go. Okay, Bobby. Panzer's moving again. Hang tight. We're coming for you. Finally. Now I'm starting to miss you all. I've got just one son of a bitch left, and he's about to get Bobby! Him. Jesus Christ, Bobby! Bobby, do you read? We have to go. I'm sorry, Mitch. We can't afford to stop. Not now. Shit. The Panzer beat. It won't hold up much longer. Systems could go down any second. I'd do anything to make it in one piece. Anything. After that, I can improvise. We can do this, Pan Am. Hang in there.
right through the gate, V. We're in! V, she's dying like I said she would. Propulsion, weapon systems, launchers, all falling like dominoes. Is there anything you can do about it? I'll try. Either I do this, or this rattle trap will really be scrap. You get out. Help our folks. We'll provide cover. Just hurry, all right? Copy that. There's likely a control room upstairs we can link remotely to the Cirque from there. Hey, That's a mistake. Up. You regret. I got a terminal. We're jacking in. What about security protocols? V, it's not a space station. It's a dumb, big-ass drill. Don't worry. Carol will slice through it like butter. All right, we're firing up the Cirque. Aiming to bore through to Arasaka Tower. This will take some time. V, we'll need you to cover us. Got company. A lot of it. Take your yourself. position! They help us out here! Fucking military is not letting up! Damn. It's looking like the drill vector's on auto. How can we possibly turn it? I'm gonna switch off this bitch into it. Mitch, kill that autopilot and hit manual override. Got it. It's working! Prepare for takeoff! Watch out! Coming from the right! How are we doing, Max? 11%! Shit! Can't you see it up? I'm having a time! I think it worked! 
Try to buy you as much time as we can. Much obliged. We'll keep watch over Mitch and Carol and see to that gate. Do it all over again. For anyone in the clan. Saul told me you brought in some help from Akoshi. Someone from the outside. Mm-hmm. Alt. And who is that? There's a net running queen of Night City. It's her. Or rather, was. Why? Does she do something else now? So to speak. Lives elsewhere, too. But she'll help us. Mm-hmm. And you trust her? No, but it's not like I got any other option. Just gotta hope Alt isn't hiding anything. Then got other plans. Why? You worried? I trust you. That's all I'll say. By extension, I trust this Alt won't pull any rugs out from under us. Things will work out. They gotta come too far for him not to. This would be it. How much farther to Arasaka Tower? Not far. It should be easy sledding from here. Shit. Do you see them? I think something's wrong. You should be used to this by now, Saul. Things rarely go as planned. We have no idea what's waiting for us inside. We need you. Fellas, what's the issue? Carol and the rest. Militech's all rattled up. Cut them off. They won't last long on that site. Jesus Christ. I'm taking the Panzer. They need all the help they can get. Are you out of your mind? The answer is no. You can't operate the Panzer alone without frying that gonk brain of yours. Do you have a better idea? They're family, Pan. I'm not leaving them behind. Saul, are you on board with this? V, someone make him see reason. V, will you truly say nothing? Mitch is right. The three of us have still got a decent shot, but without him, they've got none. 
You're sure about this? Saul! We're talking goddamn suicide! Look out for yourselves. They'll kill you! I'll catch you later. Saul! Carol, He's... I'm heading your way! Hang They're in gonna... there! We can't You'll owe me a beer this after this! Nothing. You two go on up and see what's gotten into him. Once you're mobile, I'll follow. Secure the rear. V, let's go. Everything all right? Pen Am? Talk to me! No, no, no. Pen Am! I'm here. I'm a bit bruised as hell. Well. I've endured worse. Pen Am. For a sec, I thought you'd... It's okay, V. Everything's okay. Saul. The tunnel's clear for now. Any word from Mitch? Still nothing. I knew it. it could be a problem with the comms. Mm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's finish this. What's this? Seismic dampers. It's designed to protect buildings against earthquakes. <laughs> That's a mistake. bomb left a huge crater. Then, isn't this place positively saturated with radiation? Who knows? Great. No! V, V, V! She's having She's another having seizure. V, v, are you okay? Hey! hey. 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 Sorry. Sorry. I can feel it. We gotta hurry. Does anyone know where we are? If we look around, we'll find out. I see something there. The guards need our attention first. V, take care of the sentries. Silently if you can. Don't like this. Not one bit. Your sound. I've got Quick and quiet. Q and Q. They have a whole squad there. Convoy security, maybe. Okay. Things are a little trickier than we expected. Their systems must have detected vibrations under the building when we drilled through. All units are on alert, which means instant cutoff of all passages, like rats in a cage. Where exactly are we? 
Plant and services level. And it's where we'll stay if we don't disable security. Makoshi, a ways to go still? No, the lab is in the next sector over, but we need to get there first. There any access points? Gotta get to one stat. I'm looking. Give me a sec. I found one. It's not far. You can jack in your personal there. Okay. Better hope there's a port for Alt Shard, too. I'm sending you the shortest route. Uh, we need to lift this goddamn lockdown first. Just keep your heads down. Nobody needs to know about our little visit in here. Shards in. Yes. How much time do you need to? It is done. Well, how Hell yes! It worked! So we can keep going. To Makoshi. Your path lies open. Thank you, Alt. Are you certain? Good. I'm ready. Likewise. Let's move. Saul? Mm -hmm. I feel it too. Something's a mess. It's the hush. Does anyone else have the chills? Something happened here. We'll soon find out what. Mikoshi is near. into a death trap. It seems your all takes no prisoners. is to show any the guard tried to evacuate them non-combatants they didn't have to die i think this is it i made it 
A few steps is all that separates you from Mikoshi. It seems you'll finally get your chance. We're with you, V, to the very end. The Aldecaldos always keep their word. It can't be much further, can it? We have to be the and we'll be at the core of I... I can't... Do this. Silverhand once. Gonna let you in on a little secret. Johnny, he's here with us. Now he can't talk, but I can feel him under my skin. What the fuck are you talking about? In the end, gotcha. Silverhand triumphs. I'm going to miss that constant bickering. The unending fight. I never knew an ox more stubborn. Would fall a family into fire. And in the end did exactly that. Look too strong. I'll make it. The access point lies before you. Link to it, insert yourself, then search for me on the other side. So listen. All I know for sure is all it's bound to stage a coup in my head. Can't know who'll be coming back from this. Cyber John, so I gotta thank you now. V, shut up and do whatever you have to do. Any parting advice? Just be yourself. Come on, lean on me. I can do this.
Let us go then, you and I. When the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half-deserted streets, the muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels, and sawdust restaurants and oyster shops. Streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask what is it. Let us go and make our visit. Here. You actually did it. You and that ragtag team of scrap rats. Who is right, you cranky bastard? Ha! You were right, V. You were. <laughs> and who just ate their words? Oh, fuck off. Did you see anything? Or were you completely cut out? Suppressor slowed me down, but yeah, I saw. A lot of people died just for me to get here. Sorry about Saul. It was my fault Smasher was here in the first place. So, when do we start? Haven't caught on yet, have you? <laughs> what do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. You're out, but don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. Hey, Alt. So, seeing as we seem to have the soul splitting out of the way, what's next? I am currently verifying the checksum and eliminating engram copy errors in the process. Wait, you mean I... am I a construct? She means you followed in my footsteps. Next steps to copy you into the gonk's brain. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Chris, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. No. No, no way. That was not our deal. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body. The biochip's nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Alt, give us a minute. V and I need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. I have had enough of this. Of everything. You most of all. Perfect. Because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with Alt fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even gonna take you? Beyond the Black Wall. To become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. Is there really no other way? As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Guess I meant... I don't know. Uh, a happier ending for everyone involved. Here? For folks like us? Wrong city. Wrong people. He had the right to make a choice you have earned, through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. I told you. I said I wanted you to have my body. 
But I can't do it. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. We knew all along this is how it would play out. Don't, don't fuck with me right now. Only if you cut your pathetic guy, I'm sorry. Jesus. I'm about to shred a comrade and a chunk of my own soul in one fucking go. You have no idea what that shit feels like. Hmm. Sounds kind of familiar. We know that attitude. CV, stand with you whether you like it or not. For fuck's sake, defend yourself! You're not even trying! You know, you taught me to let go sometimes. Save my strength for one last big bang. Goodbye, E. And never stop fighting. Why'd you want to meet here? For the view? Or are you turning sentimental on me? So you do remember. I thought of it then as a one-time thing. I would help you, you would help... <sighs> Fuck. No, no, that's a lie. Mm-hmm. Had it in for the Raffins. You were out to get them with Mitch's and Scorpion's help. If they'd agreed, you'd have told me to fuck off then and there. Ah, oh, stop. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone. Gotta say, I didn't expect things to end this way. Do you mean Mikoshi? Uh-huh. Night City. Did you think you would stay forever? Mm-hmm. A couple of months ago, no way I'd have said I'd leave NC. Would have staked my life on it. A wager I'd have lost if I'd taken it. Yet, yeah, here we are. On the road. Not sure I'd have found the courage without you. Thanks. Ah, oh, stop. And you'd best say your goodbye to this view. You won't see the city again. It's just not there. What I'm looking for. Do you think we'll ever find it? Doubt it. But maybe that's not so bad. If Night City taught me anything, it's to beware your dreams. Cause somehow they always find a way to come back and bite you in the ass. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. I'm gonna figure this out, Pan Am. Fix drug helps a bit now. And once we get to where we're going, We'll try all your contacts. They've pulled some of our folks out of deep, deep cesspits. They'll help. You'll see. Good to hear. It really is. Speaking of which, what about our plan? Everything is set and confirmed. We'll meet our people soon, gather our gear and set off. Yes, the road could be hard, 
but as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V? Get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. All night, city. Good night and good luck. I've heard enough. Most of our people have already passed. They'll wait for us on the outside. And our souvenirs from the Koshi? If we so much as approach the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Our assumptions, people in every border closet. But we know a bit less traffic. Just realized. Here I am, clapping for Marisol. Don't you worry. We'll pass right under the past of noses. We better. The beginnings can be rough. Don't you know it. Hey, man. 
damage. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Hey, how are things? Is everything arranged? Everything's almost set. So you found it? Where we thought it would be? All plans laden in place? They are indeed. But someone is supposedly waiting for you. Come see us later. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. You'll come back, right? Brain Dance Club in Chicago. Ages ago. But I didn't edit them. V, no. you're here. <laughs> Jude, you made it. I doubted you would come. Yeah, Carol gave me a ride. Never would have found this place otherwise. Why? Thought I'd stay in Night City. You don't seem like one who'd care to make a fresh start. Ever. Get to know me better? Could change your mind. Damn, I'm glad you're here. So fucking glad you didn't change your mind. <laughs> I think I made up my mind before you did. <laughs> It's just, uh... Hmm, you clearly got things you need to hash out. Leave you girls to it. Everything all right? Just here. Now. I think I realized I never felt right in Night City. I used to think there'd come a day when I'd finally call it home. I thought, any moment now I'll feel safe. Even comfy. You'll find your place, where you really belong now. Only say that because you've already found it. I say it because I know you will too. So why the hell do I feel like I'm running away? It's betrayal, you sense. Feels like you're betraying it and somehow the city knows and it stands in judgment. Yeah, it's like I want to leave, but it's pulling me back in. Like it's got another sweet, sweet promise just for me. Empty, Judy. All of them. But we hold the carbs now. You know, I used to mark time in stages. One juncture to the next. There was the mega building, hole in the wall phase, and then the group home phase, the mox phase. Every time, I thought I found a home. And every damn time, I came away disappointed. Things will be different now. You'll see. Promise? No, don't want to promise you a thing. Don't have to. You'll see. We'll have a home. We'll be home soon. It's a vision I like. A lot. Me too. We're gonna be alright. If I can be sure of anything now. It's that. Feel better already? Heading out soon. Gotta get ahead of that storm. And stay on Pan Am's good side. Yeah. Carol said a thing or two. Warned me. Don't worry. You'll like her. So, we going? Got one last thing to take care of. It'll only take a sec. Okay. I'll be waiting right here. Need any help preparing? No. It's all packed and ready to go. We were waiting for you. That's all. All right. So the plan. One more time. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? So there's this old smuggling tunnel. Forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. Wait. Were we talking about one of those famous Aldecaldo tunnels? Mm-hmm. One of the oldest ones, this one, too. They dug through right after the first war. Aldecaldo stopped using it years ago. We got tipped off that Night Corp had found it and started monitoring the area. You scan it? I'm sure the tunnel's even open? Hasn't caved in anywhere? It's open along its entire course. And all it needs is to stay open for us this last time. Then it can collapse. We won't be needing it anymore. Look, tunnel's cool and all, but we gotta get there first. And what about security up and down the border? Whole area's brimming with tech. Drones on perpetual patrol, heavier stuff too, maybe. Don't worry. We know what's there and what to do about it. 
And Carol and Cassidy will keep the corpos off our tail. And nobody's likely to spot us. Sooner or later, the border guards will realize something's not right. But by the time they get around to it, we'll be far, far away. Plus, that storm's a true stroke of luck. It should cover our tracks. We'll need more than a storm to keep the corpos off our tail. Got bigger concerns than us. And even if they don't, just let them try and catch us. They'll regret it. Great. And once we've crossed, what then? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. And once there, we call the shots, right? We know the road's like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. <laughs> so even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. Looks like I've got a debt of gratitude to pay now. Oh, come the fuck on. We're all riding in the same wagon. And thanks to you, we stole enough Arasaka tech to build an aircraft carrier. Believe me, on the list of those wanted dead or alive, our names are right under yours. Well, time to move. Before that storm finds us. See the child. He is pale and thin. V, let me be thoroughly honest with you. Okay. You look like shit. Do the great outdoors truly serve you so poorly? Exactly the contrary, cowboy. Starting to feel really alive for once. <laughs> I always did love the optimism of youth. Bad thoughts are cheap, but they smear over the truth like mud. You think you'll run out of fuel before the stop? You will. You think you're about to die? Your days are numbered. Now you had better ready yourself. We've got a border to cross and a storm to run from. It's a hell of a lot for one day. Are we all set? Mm-hmm. So jack in. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. This is your big new beginning. So you have to start it like a real nomad. Behind the proverbial wheel. Mostly go straight. Go around the bigger holes and don't lose the rest. Got it? I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. If I don't think it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. I'm glad we're doing this. Meaning, leaving? Mm-hmm. Said goodbye to the girls at Lizzie's today. Almost all were sure I'd flake back out. I started a pool, you know? About me limping back home, tail between my legs. Like many of them. More times than they care to admit. Got a feeling majority's gonna be out some eddies. I ever tell you I planned this with Evelyn? A flight out of Night City to Bliss. Dreamed about what we'd do when we finally got the chance. I'm sorry, Judy. Don't let it bother you. I won't. Mentioned it because feels like I should let that dream go too. Been ready always. Then hit it. Home stretch. Full speed ahead. They've launched the drones. Carol, Cassidy, get moving. I'm heading west and activating the jammers. They've marked me. 
I'm turning east to get him off your tail. Good luck, kids. See you on the other side. The Nitro is ready. Say goodbye to Night City. It's your last chance. Got nothing left to say. Let's ride! Exactly what you wanted. A new beginning. Don't slow down, Pan Am. Not yet. Perfect. All great, Pan Am. We're going home. life out there in the desert, getting some sun, some fresh air in those lungs. Don't forget to get yourself a checkup every once in a while. Any dust or dirt gets under that insulation, you're done. Of course, decent ripper is harder to find out there than a four-star hotel. So actually, how about you just stop by when you're back in the city, huh? Think I could swing a little discount for an old regular like you. Till next time, V. V, is it true what they say? You rolling around in the dirt with the Aldecaldos? Have you lost your mind, mija? 
Didn't you get in enough trouble already, eh? Night City was too boring for you. Estás loca, eh? Crazy, completely crazy. <sighs> Just watch out for yourself, okay? Don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not going to a second funeral. want to see some old faces. Don't forget to stop by Mama Wells, okay? Just give me a call before, and I'll make my special chilaquiles just for you. <laughs> Cuídate, V. Hey, V. I know what you're thinking. Why is my crazy output leaving a message on the machine while I'm making breakfast? Well, <clears throat> you know me. I get mushy when it comes to sharing feelings. So, uh, <clears throat> what the hell? I figured I'd just tell you here. <laughs> v, I just wanted you to know that happy for the first time in my life and I wanted to speak of the devil see you soon P A Christ that run we did my heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, 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 I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. Just remember, we'd walk through hell and back with you anytime, sister. Until next time, eh? Take care. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass a message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? So, funny thing just said- Oh, fuck, fuck, sake. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. What did I even- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me? And asked if I would go on tour with them. At first, I was like, over my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait. I could actually be fine. So, I don't know what else. Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Bye! B, hey. So, here's the thing. Couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. But I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Be 
Before samurai committed the seppuku, they wrote Jisei, a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Kusama. to pay the price. 